So the, the, I love your question, thank you for it. Uh, her question was, advice for writers. So here it is. I've always hated writing until I actually wrote something that was for me. So I, I mentioned earlier, I've written a book, How to Be Ultra Spiritual, 13 and a Half Steps to Superior Spirituality. <laughs> It'll be released in spring of 2017 by Sounds True Publishing, shameless self-promotion, hashtag ultra spiritual. <laughs> so, and this isn't going to be new to anybody, but here's the question to ask people to ask themselves. What's your why? What is your why? I think that completely determines not only the state of mind we're writing in, but how willing we are to be connected to the source of where real creativity comes from. If I'm writing in order to avoid the disapproval of a low grade, I'm writing from a fearful place. And how creative are we when we're fearful? That's like saying how open is our seventh chakra when our first chakra is red hot with a gun to our head. It's like, oh, it's, it's probably not too open, probably not too playful, not gonna be too intuitive. I'll just be scared poopless. And that's a little bit of a dramatic example. Or am I writing for, not to avoid disapproval, or am I writing to achieve the approval of getting an A? To me, that's just as fearful. What would it mean to me if I don't get an A? That's a fear reaction. What would it mean to me if I got an F? That's a fear reaction. So I think writing that comes from a place of a fearful mindset is really crappy writing, first off. And two, it is so unenjoyable. I went to a few months of college, and you can interpret that, you can interpret that one of two ways. You're like, wow, GP, it only took you a few months to graduate college. <laughs> You're welcome to put that option in your pocket. Another interpretation is uh, that's how long it took me to fail out of college. Because, you know, I wasn't in touch with a, a legitimate why for me. I was in college in order to try and get the approval of my parents and uh, avoid their disapproval. But luckily, luckily enough for me, I've got this ability to have an inability to learn anything that I don't have a good reason to learn. If I'm not learning it for me, and I'm talking about for the real authentic me, not just the part of me that's afraid of pain and parents' disapproval, but if I'm not do, learning something for the real me, I have really, really, really an insignificant ability to learn. Uh, I used to think, like, what the heck is wrong with me? This is a curse. Now I see it as a blessing. It helps me follow my heart. So it took me a few months to get a drop out of college because I didn't have a very good why to be there. But it's my actual story, uh, where it was going, which actually has very little relation to your question, but I like the story. <laughs> the one time I did get an A in college, it was some kind of writing class, and we had to do like a five-page paper, and we had to have all these references. I think it was like we had to have at least 10 references. And I'm like, I, I think this is a boring subject, and I don't want to bore myself even further by reading these boring references about a boring subject because I can do simple math. Boring squared equals more boring than just regular boring. <laughs> so what I did is I made up a little story on paper and then here was the creative part. This is actually, this was creative of me with the writing. What uh, the real writing came in is I made up all the references. Like I just invented names of authors, invented the publishing companies, you know, down to the very date the book was published and the location, you know, the bibliography was all, it looked really good. And I'm like, this jerk teaching the class seems like he just doesn't care about anything, so let's just see if he calls me out on this. Anyway, I got an A on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> what that taught me was we got to be in touch with our creativity. Like, I already knew, like, I'm done with college. I don't care about approval, disapproval, getting bad grades at this point. So I was able to kind of, like, access my creativity, which is, like, I'm going to have fun with this bastard. <laughs> I, created, I created a way to get an A on a paper that really wasn't worthy of an A. Back to actually answering your question. So I, I come from a background of just hating writing. I Really, what I'm saying is I hated the state of mind that I was in when I wrote anything else in my life. But when I wrote my book, it was one of the most enjoyable processes for me because I had my why. I was writing it for me. I wasn't, I wasn't even writing it 
to get the approval of readers. I wasn't even writing it to try and get the approval of my publishing company. I said, I am gonna write this for me. And that allowed me to go into a well of creativity. It was beautiful and special. It was a well of creativity that I actually haven't accessed before. Not even with videos, because those are like super short. It's like, ah, oh, I'll try to make this video five minutes or less, and I you know, write out the script for those. But the, there is something magical about writing. Who in here does writing? It, it can be incredibly magical. So it's a vertical dimension we go in when we write. And I, I really think what, what that means is we go deeper into ourselves. Because wherever creativity comes from, I think it deposits the creativity deep inside of us. So, all of that translated into a short soundbite to your lovely question would be, I would invite you to ask your lovely students, what reason do you have for writing this for you? Why do you want to write it? And if they, their honest answer might be, I actually don't want to do the writing, then my honest response is, do the writing, just know you're not going to enjoy it, just know it probably won't be very good, but at least we'll be honest about it. It's like my taxes, I do my taxes. Actually, I don't have my account doing taxes. I don't even like to give my accountant information. That's how much I don't like doing my taxes. So I don't like doing my taxes, but they get done anyway, and I'm at least honest about it. I'm like, I'm gonna feel like a little kid who hates doing this. Thank you for letting me ramble on. BJ, would love